Hi everyone, welcome to the factor tree part of the lesson, which I believe is the most fun. I draw little Christmas trees because eventually I'll bring in a little tree and we're going to make it into a factor tree. And what we are doing here is we are trying to get every number that we see on here, we're going to make some tree branches and we are going to write it in a form that is all prime numbers, just like we learned about in the last video. So let's take 180 and we're going to branch out from the 180 and I am simply going to write that it is 10 times 18. We're going to break that further into pieces and create a new branch and we're going to do 10 is 2 times 5. Okay. And then 18, we are going to break apart as 2 and 9. Okay, so we get to the bottom level. The 2 is just going to stay a 2. A 5 is going to stay a 5. It doesn't break it down anymore. A 2 is going to stay a 2. But this 9 can be a 3 and a 3. So we can also write 180 as 2 times 5 times 2 times 3 times 3. Well, what mathematicians do is they put this in order. We'll start with the twos, so it would be two to the second power, because there's two of them, times how many threes do we see? We see two of them, so it would be three to the second power, and I only have one five, so we're going to do it times five. So this is called the prime factorization. That is taking any number and making it into factors that are only prime numbers. So there is what you would have on your test. They need to go in order from least to greatest. Let's try the number 75. I already know that it is 3 times 25 because we all know about quarters. The 3 is already broken down into a prime number. However, the 25 can be a 5 and a 5. This one was quite simple. So if we were to write this in prime factorization, it would be 3 times 5 to the second power. Let's try the number 90. It doesn't matter which way you break it apart. So you could do 10 times 9, or you could do... 3 times 30. You are going to end up with the same building blocks no matter which way you do it. I'm going to show you that right now. So we're going to do 3 times 30 to start with, which the 3 stays a 3. Then this becomes a 3 times a 10. The 3 stays a 3. This 3 stays a 3. And the 10 becomes a 2 times 5. So the prime factorization of this would be 3, oops, 2 times 3 to the second power times 5. I almost didn't go in order there. So in this case, let's do 10 times 9. Here again, we're going to do 2 times 5. And here we're going to do 3 times 3. So eventually we're going to get, start with the 2 times 3 to the second power times 5. Sometimes you're going to have a prime factorization that works a little bit differently and it's a very small tree. So in 185, if I divide 185, this, the rules of divisibility are important. I can see that it is divisible by 5 and when I do the division it's just 37 times 5. So if I were to write the prime factorization it is 5 times 37. And that's as prime as it gets. Sometimes you have a lot of factors. And so this way I'm going to do 20 times 10. Then I'm going to do 4 times 5. Then I'm going to do 2 times 5. The 4 is going to break down. Okay, sorry, I had an interruption there, and then I lost my pen for a minute. So here we go. We're going to break this 200 down a little bit further. And so we're going to have a 2 times a 2. The 5 is going to stay the same. 
the 2 is going to stay the same, it's prime, and the 5 is going to stay the same. So let's look and see in order what our numbers are. I see three twos, so we're going to do 2 to the third power. Do we have any threes? No, we do not. And then we are going to have 5 to the second power. So if we were to do this, um, it would actually be 8 times 25, which would get us back up to that 200. It'll become clearer as we explore fractions why you're going to want to break things down like this, but enjoy the prime factorization factor trees. And in my first year, I had the little song, if you've ever heard the song, Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Well, since the holiday season is approaching, we sing, oh factor tree, how factor tree, oh factor tree. And then I had a one student, I lost the words, I'll look for them. Um, she made up an entire verse that explained what factoring and factor trees were. Eventually, we're going to come up with a huge number, like maybe 25,652, and we are going to break that down into many pieces. And we'll put ornaments on the tree based on the numbers. That's how we can have a little holiday tree in our room. Have a great lesson on 5.1. Come up and ask questions if you need to.